Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. And I'm April Thompson. A lot to get to this afternoon. We have Team 3 coverage with how the hunt for water this morning already proved to be a challenge. And we'll check in with Tyler to find out if temperatures will be rising anytime in the near future. But first, we're going to check in with WRG Shea Author. She is live at the water distribution site with more on what you need to know about this huge boil water advisory. What's the latest, Shea? Hey, April. Hey, Alex. Yeah, you said it right there. This is huge. This affects hundreds of thousands of people across the Memphis area. And we're here tonight in North Haven at Fire Station 67, uh, where they've been doing this water giveaway really for the last few hours, and it's wrapping up right now. Crews here said that more than a dozen people have been serviced, have been coming out here uh, to get their bottled water because all of MLGW's service area is under that precautionary boil water advisory. They're urging people to either, of course, boil water before drinking, cooking, washing dishes, brushing your teeth, or making ice. And you should boil that water for at least a minute. If you don't boil that water, then you should be using bottled water. But there are some people, and I've talked to some of these people, who have been forced to boil snow in order for them to flush their toilets because they don't have any water at all. I'm also aware that there are customers throughout the county who are experiencing no water uh, for one of several reasons. First, either because the pressure has dropped too low uh, and so the water is not getting to their home because there is a break between our pumping station and their house, or because we have made a repair or we are shutting down a water main because it was leaking uh, so that we can fix that water main and therefore no water is flowing, or because that resident may have a line that is frozen up. April, Alex, it's unclear when this precautionary boil water advisory will be lifted. MLW says they could open more bottle, bottled water distribution sites. Of course, we'll keep you posted as we learn more. We're live in North Haven tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.